study section 2 factor abundance factor intensity and the shape of the production frontier introduction the chapter explains the important concepts required for understanding the two factors two goods and two countries mode the actual only model the extra only model is very important in the study of international trade theory. The easy understanding of this model depends on pre-knowledge of factor abundance, factor intensity, and production possibility frontier. Each of these concepts is elucidated in this chapter. Factor abundance. A factor endowment is usually described in terms of the ratios between capital stores and labor forces in the two countries. Thus, if the capital labor ratio in country H is greater than it is in country F, we say that country H is relatively capital abundant and labor scarce, while country F is relatively labor abundant and capital scarce. This physical definition can be represented in equation 2.1. To understand the concept of relative factor endowment, consider the estimate of real capital endowments and labor forces represented in table 2.1. Capital stores were computed as a cumulative sum of gross fixed capital formation in the 15-year period. Through 1984, Corrected for depreciation and inflation and converted to US dollars using a consistent set of international price and exchange rate comparisons. Thus, capital stocks are in billions of $1984. The labor force in each country is defined to the economically active population, that is, those employed and those looking for work in millions of workers. Table 2.1, Capital and Labor Endowment for Selected Countries, 1984. Factor Intensity. Factor intensity plays a central role in the actual Olin theory. Goods Y is considered to be relatively capital intensive and goods X is relative, take two, is relatively labor intensive if the capital labor ratio used in production is higher in the former sector. In equilibrium, both sectors choose capital labor ratios that minimizes cost for the W is equal to W over R, where W is the wage rate and R is the rental rate of a unit of capital. In principle, it is possible that at different relative factor prices, the rankings in equation 2.1 can be reversed if one industry finds it technically easier to substitute capital for labor along an insequent than does the other. This possibility, termed as factor intensity reversal FIR, poses certain problems for the actual earning trade theory. The shape of the production frontier. The production possibility frontier, as the name implies, is the locus that shows all possible efficient production points. It is important to note that two kinds of efficiency are being assumed here. The first is which is called the engineering efficiency implies simply that for either of the production functions and for any bundle of impulse, output is as large as it could possibly be. In other words, we are assuming that there is no waste involved in the production process. The second kind of efficiency, which we could call market efficiency, is concerned with the way in which factors are combined in the production processes. We assume that two commodities, X and Y, are produced using two factors, capital and labor, with technologies described in the production functions shown in figure 2.3. From the technological information given in equation 2.3 and the constraints on factor use given by equation 2.4, the production possibility frontier can be constructed. The production possibility frontier, which is also called the transformation curve, is presented in figure 2.1. This is the end of study section 2. Thanks for listening.